Hey, welcome to Duke's RV. I'm Duke, your video host, and we're looking at a brand new floor plan here from on the Keystone Sprinter. They're calling this one the Wide Body, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this floor floor plan. It's the 3900 DBL, and uh, they've designated it as the Wide Body. So uh, we're going to take a look at the specs on it real quick, then we're going to go ahead and go inside and take a look at the floor plan. See, it's got three slides on this side. One of them's in the bunk room. Uh, so the dry weight on this one is 14, 620. It's a heavy sprinter, uh, gross vehicle weight, 16,590. So this one, uh, I think you're going to probably want to have a, a one ton truck, uh, 3,500, 250, something like that would be ideal. It's got the hitch vision right there. That's patented. It's got the road armor kingpin, road armor suspension. This particular model has 400 watts of solar up on the roof. It's a solar flex 400 and that is one of the solar panels right there. There's two of them. They're 200 watt solar panels. It has an inverter. It's got a solar charge controller. Let's see if we can see some of that. Uh, if it's up in here, it's probably on the other side, but that's my first look at this one right here. So thanks for joining me. Okay, so that uh, box right over there, that is a 2000 watts uh, pure sine wave inverter. And this one also has a solar charge controller that is a 30 amp. It may be located up here. Let's take a peek and see. See, a lot of RVs have that. They just have a place to plug in a solar suitcase. This one's got that, but it has got a lot more. There it is, 30 amps, that blue box. Uh, solar charge controller. Let me take a look inside here. So this one has a lithium battery in it already. And uh, the batteries are hooked up. Everything is working. So it's... Bottom line is with the solar, the 60 pounds of propane, the solar charge controller, all that stuff, you can run your heater, your water heater, uh, the stove, the lights, TV, a CPAP machine, coffee pot, without being plugged in. There's your WineGuard Air 360 for digital TV and Wi-Fi. Got a couple of stereo speakers out here. This is a nice looking rig. It's got a back door over here. This goes into the rear bath, and we're gonna have a kitchen right here is my guess. Unless that's a TV, let's take a look. All right, so you do have a kitchen. It's got the capital griddle. So this actually has a griddle that slides out. You can put some pancakes on the griddle, whatever you like to griddle. And uh, then there's a door right here. So that's your bathroom door right there. So you can have an exit there. And look at that tow hitch right there. So you can put a rack or a uh, tray or something like that. Walkable roof, camera prep. All right, I think we need to go inside. Let's go inside and look at the new floor plan. It took me three minutes to get here. We're going up these solid steps. We're looking at the Sprinter 3900 DBL. It's got the thermal package, astrofoil insulation, solar flex 400i. The i means there's an inverter 400, it's 400 watts of solar. You can download app onto your phone and manage your solar. It's very practical. All right, so this one, it's got a lot of features in here. Residential fridge. This is a Furion fridge. It's got a beautiful, uh, well, you know, Sprinter has really stepped up their game. This is nice. Nice pantry in here. New countertop look right there for 2023. Got lots of counter space here. You can put a uh, air fryer, Keurig, coffee pot, anything you want right there. Plenty of counter space here. There's your Televator TV that comes up, fireplace, all that stuff. Got a residential size microwave. So this one, if you're going full time, this could be a good one for you. You've got this uh, slide out over here on this side. So there's two slide outs. It's the opposing slides. That's how you get all this space. Usually when there's an island, you have a slide going both ways. So you have room for an island. And uh, there's your dinette. That it, it will expand. Those chairs are still strapped down. This just came in, literally. Uh, they just... Uh, got it here so we haven't got it all set up yet look there's some storage space over here so this is open the nice thing about this little living area is you've got windows on this side and this side that's a nice thing it's a it's really makes a difference because when there's a bunk room let me just kind of go panoramic here when there's a bunk room it will uh, kind of close it off a little bit so those windows are real important and we're going to take a look at the bunk room because it's an all-star bunk room. Hey, we were going panoramic, but what happened, Duke? 
All right, I think we did it. Look, there's the windows. Check out all that storage space. That's what you need. You're going to do some extended stay. You've got a dimmer for these lights right here, I believe. There's a switch over there. And you have four lights up there. So we're going to go into the bedroom in a second. But first, we're going to check out... Look at those nice light fixtures. There's a rain-sensitive Max Air fan. There's one of the air conditioners right there. It's a filter. It's got uh, a residential filter just like the one in the bedroom. They can replace that with something at Home Depot. It's got the... Uh, I don't know the name for the particulates, but it really will get a lot of stuff out there. Better than most RVs. All right, shut up, Duke. Show me the dang bank bunk room. All right, so I don't know if you would have said dang. I'm not going to imply that you would have used that kind of language. We don't use that kind of dang language here on Duke's RV. So here, not a lot of headroom, so we're going to put this up. You got this bunk right here. You just clip this little thing right here, and uh, I think we'll do it on this side first. It was hanging up, so there it is. Just put, There's my finger. Broke my New Year's resolution. So you have a sofa that makes into a bed, and then you have a place for a TV over here. Got just a ton of storage. So you've got some occupants here. Look at that. Look how deep that is. Oh, that's that same storage that you have a door over there, so you can get to it from either side. Why not? Check this out. I don't even have the lights on up there, but look at that loft. You got a loft up there. You got a bunk right there. Place for a TV. Your game system. So you got a lot of bunk room. And then look what you got over here. You got a bathroom. The bathroom door. You can sit right there. Get ready. Take a shower. Give your dog a bath. Man, you're going to be doing great. Everybody's going to be comfortable. So you got a separate room for the full-timers who got people with them. You're perfect. You're going camping with some luxury. Look at that. That is luxury. Full-time luxury right there. RV luxury. Lots of a view. Beautiful decor. Man, I really have to hand it to you. The design team for Keystone, if you're watching this, good job. You did a great job. So kudos to the Keystone Sprinters, Sprinter design team on putting this fifth wheel together. Came up with the plan for it. They had a lot of meetings. I know you guys had a lot of guys, ladies and gentlemen, had a lot of meetings about where we're going to do this, how we're going to do that. You worked it out. Teamwork. That's a great thing. So we're going to go up these steps right here. And uh, there's a nice backsplash there. Here's the control panel. Look at that. That is a control for your hot water on demand. Let's check the temperature. It says it's 61 degrees here in the Houston, Texas area inside this RV. So this has the in-command light system. You can download an app and control your uh, slides, air conditioner, different components. Well, it's a rich looking bathroom. Somebody won the lottery. Check this out. Yes. That's just your winning lottery ticket right here, the Keystone Sprinter. Whoever has to pay for it, that's just details. You're living the life. The RV dream right here in this thing, man. So that's a nice bathroom. So, you know, it looks a little tight there. Let me just sit down. Yeah, but you have room. You have enough room. And the good thing is you can open the shower door if you need extra knee room. So that is okay. You got a couple of mirrors, a couple of sinks, lots of bathroom storage. Here's more in here. It's exciting, right? All right, now we're going into the bedroom. And this does not disappoint. It's got a king-size bed on a slide. There's lights up there that my production crew forgot to turn on. They should have had those lights on, but we're going to skip over that. We've got a uh, more exciting stuff to talk about. We've got a closet right here with hookups for a washer and dryer. Okay, you wanted that, you got it. Everybody asked for it. And uh, got a... Uh, Good size closet. So the benefit here of a uh, of a uh, closet in the of this slide out right here is that you have a closet in the front, so it leaves more space for that washer dryer. Uh, the closet right there. So there is one of the lights on. Get a little bit of light in there. There's another one over there. So you have closet space. If you're not going to use a washer dryer, you could store whatever you want in here. Keep your personal robot whatever you got your butler got a emergency exit right there 
There's a backer location hookups for your TV. There's a chest of drawers. All right, it's only 59 in here, so we have a temperature discrepancy. It's two degrees cooler in the bedroom. That's not good. That is, no, I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter. All right, so uh, I don't know what this is. This is something. I don't know what it is. Maybe, oh, this is a light. I'm waking up. My glasses must be a little foggy. So that is a light there. Let's see if we can turn that on. I'm going to have to figure out this mystery, how to turn on this light right here. Oh, there's the switch. All right. Duke is... <laughs> I'm okay, everybody. Check it out. That's cool. I didn't even know what that was. It's an exit. If you don't know where the exit is, there's a little sign there. So you want to... So where is the exit? Oh, there's the sign. It says exit right underneath that light. That's cool. Just like at the bus station. All right, so just taking a look around this brand new floor plan. This huge loft. Look at that, there's a loft or this huge bunk room with a loft, that's crazy. There's a bunk up there. So it's kind of divided. You got somebody up there, they got their own space. Somebody likes to climb a little bit. They're okay with it, they'll like that. They got a couple of lights up there. There's a 110 connection up there. Let me see, is there a... So you've got 110 up there and lights. You've got a place you could put a TV up there. I don't know if that's good for a TV. It doesn't have the hookups, but it's got the uh, a little, you know, just cubby storage area just to put stuff. So this is multifunctional here. You can sit here and hang out. You can deploy that bunk bed there. You can make this into a bunk. So you got room for people to sleep and go to the bathroom here. They can come in and out without cutting through the coach, enjoying the campground, the full-time experience whatever you got. Thank you so much for viewing my video. If you watched all the way to the end, please click the thumbs up button. Thank you.